no animals were hurt during the making of this video. This turtle story is to document and portray a reoccurring problem that is often seen in areas where turtles must share space with roadways. The goal of this video is to promote awareness and save lives. A gentleman named Greg just witnessed a softshell turtle hit in front of the preserve. Okay, what area is he in? I'm en route to Claremont right now to pick up another injured turtle. He moved the turtle from the road and has it contained. He's in Auburdale and willing to meet you with the turtle. Perfect. Text me his info and we'll make arrangements as soon as possible. We were able to meet with Greg and it was in fact a Florida softshell turtle. It was a female weighing 30 pounds, one of the largest softshell turtles I've ever treated. Now, upon the initial exam, we could tell that her injuries were very extensive. She had open lung, multiple fractures to her carapace, and internal injuries. Despite all efforts, unfortunately, she passed away within a few hours. Now, the fact that this happened in the spring, and she was in the roadway, told us that she was probably on her way to lay eggs. So, we went in and were able to extract over 20 eggs. Now, 20 of those were in very good shape. So that means there still was life inside of this dead mother. We pulled those eggs, put them in the incubator, and guess what happens next? Lots of little babies to release in honor of their mother. to return these babies to the wild just like their mother intended. This is Bonnie. She is the star of our dramatization at the beginning of this video. And as you can see, she was not harmed in the making of this video. But I do want to tell you Bonnie's story. Now, Bonnie is a Florida softshell. She weighs 20 pounds. So you can imagine what a 30 pounder would look like. She was hit by a car and she has a spinal injury, which has caused mild paralysis in her back legs. So she cannot be released. Her back legs don't work properly. But we have adopted her. So this is Swamp Girl's girl, right, Bonnie? and she helps us to educate others about Florida wildlife and soft shell turtles. And right here next to me is the carapace, which is the top part located at the top, of a soft shell turtle, okay? Now, if you listen, that doesn't sound soft, does it? But they get the name soft shell from the leathery flesh that covers over top of this bone. Now, I'm gonna put Bonnie down for just a second so we can take a quick look this is the spinal area, okay? And that is connected to the bone. Pretty cool, huh? Well, 
I want to thank you guys for watching our video. And if you'd like to support Swamp Girl Adventures, go to swampgirladventures.org. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We are here to help educate you. Keep calm and swamp on.